All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. This is a video by Alcos Ventures. This is actually Accounting 105. So if you have missed some of the previous videos, we've done a couple of others on the topic of accounting. So make sure you go ahead and watch that. Now, the reason we're covering a breakdown of business transactions from the accounting perspective is because we realize that especially entrepreneurs in early and mid-stage startups or somebody that's just trying to analyze the ideas and maybe figure out how to set a budget for their business, they're unaware of how to go ahead and look at the financial side of things. So this is a video for them. Uh, just we're going to take a look at some of the sample transactions and put them into books of accounts and see how they look. So to start with, let's take our first example, that being, let's say Bob starts a business and invests $30,000. Now, in this case, what he's doing is actually investing cash, which is $30,000, and he is using that as capital for his business. So the two accounts that would be affected here is the cash account and the capital account. So let's look at how that looks in terms of the financial statement. So how would that look in terms of the account? Here you see a cash balance of $30,000 and you see owner's equity or capital, which would be $30,000. So this is actually the first transaction in this business because the investment just came into the corporate account. So owner's capital went up from zero to 30,000 and cash went up from zero to 30,000. One thing you'll have to remember is that in accounting, Everything is a double entry system, which means if there is a withdrawal of $30,000 or if there's a deposit of $30,000, it's always going to reflect in two books. So there's always the same amount reflected as two entries. For example, a simple transaction could be, let's say you go out to the store and you buy something for $10. So money, $10 leaves your account, but that same $10 is recorded as a transaction as a credit because the store received that ten dollars in the store's account so it always balances out and that's why they call it the double entry system of bookkeeping or accounting so here you see thirty thousand recorded once and recorded twice so it's balanced itself out now let's take a look at the second transaction so in transaction two after starting the business, Bob goes ahead and buys some office supplies. So let's say he goes down to Staples and for $2,000, he purchases all the necessary stationery and maybe things he needs for the office for about $2,000. So what are the two accounts that are affected here? One is his cash from his capital account because he's making that purchase for his business. And second, it's his supplies account because he's purchasing supplies. So in this case, you'll see a reduction in 2000 from the total cash balances of his business but you'll see an increase in supplies for the same amount because he's bought supplies worth two thousand dollars now let's see how this looks on our statement so let's look at the two accounts that are affected here one cash the second one is supplies so when he went to the store he paid cash for the product which means there's going to be a reduction of his cash balances for two thousand dollars but there is going to be an increase in the supplies column because he's purchased supplies worth $2,000. So cash here has increased, sorry, cash here has decreased, but supplies has increased in the same amount because it's one transaction. So let's jump back and look at another transaction just to give you a better understanding. So looking at the next transaction, we have Bob invests some money into heavy equipment for $15,000, which means this is not a regular thing such as stationery or something simpler for the office, uh, but this is actually a bigger expense and this could go into buying something that will stay for a while. Uh, it could also be considered a long-term asset. And uh, of course, this asset is also depreciated over the years, such as to reduce the value of that asset in accounting terms. But let's not look at that now. Let's summarize once again. Uh, Bob started off by investing $30,000 as capital. Then he went out and bought $2,000 worth of uh, stationery and office supplies. 
but then Bob realized that he has some heavy equipment that he needs to buy to have the business uh, running long term and of course some decisions here might be should I buy it should I lease it can I rent it but in this case Bob decided to go ahead and buy it and actually spend 15,000 upright so this must be an important piece of equipment that can last quite some time and hence it would be a long-term asset so let's jump into the numbers and figure out what that looks like on our statement right so now here we have to look at this a little more carefully so what happens is that from his cash balance there's already a reduction of 2000 but now because he spent 15,000 there's going to be a reduction in that also so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what's the other account because it's a double entry system what's the other account that's been affected which would be the equipment account because he went ahead and bought equipment for that amount right so we will add 15,000 to the equipment account so as to balance that equation because he spent money so there was a 15,000 reduction in his cash reserves but he purchased 15,000 worth of equipment which means equipment account just went up by 15,000 so actually if we were to total this out and see what's remaining you can see that he initially started off with 30,000 but then now if you see that he'll have just about 13,000 left after 17,000 in expenses or maybe you can call it investment but there's a 13,000 negative and looking at the other side of that equation you can see of course that there is an increase in 17,000 whereas in the cash accounts there's an decrease of 17,000 so it's balancing out at the end of the day so in order to summarize what are a few things that we look at when a financial transaction takes place one we understand what are the accounts that are getting affected so in this case it could be cash supplies equipment and we have listed a few other things here so that's first question what are the accounts that are affected and second question is does the equation balance itself out let's say if I start off with 30,000 and invest that into the business does that balance itself out same way here if I've spent 2,000 to purchase supplies is that balancing out in the statement same way with the equipment spend 15,000 but equipment account went up by the same amount that's when you know that your accounting books are balanced so question one you have to ask yourself what are the accounts that are affected question two you ask yourself is is the accounting equation balanced thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and share it with at least one person because it takes time and effort to make this video and if you got some value out of it it would be great if we could get the word out and at least help one more person who's looking for similar information such as this so thank you see you in the next video